I have officially reached that point in pregnancy where I'm hot, I'm sweating, I'm uncomfortable, I'm leaking from places I never thought I could leak and I also can't breathe so you're gonna have to excuse the fact I'm a sweating, panting, leaking mess in this video. Hello my loves, I hope you're all really well. Today we are in Baby Boy's nursery because I'm going to show you everything that I've bought for him so far. Um, so I thought we could do like a newborn essentials haul. I say essentials like this because I feel like everyone's essentials are different and I have bought a lot. I have actually found newborn and just baby shopping in general incredibly overwhelming and these types of videos have really helped me uh, being a first time mum and have never have have, have what <laughs> obviously i've never had a newborn baby before obviously Gemma, because you're a first time mum but i've watched a lot of videos that are newborn essentials after two kids and newborn essentials after having my baby and i feel like i've learned a lot from those types of videos so i've i've made my list off the back of those along with your guys recommendations thank you very much for those because you helped me so much um and obviously family and friends recommendations and i feel like i've put together quite a solid list so with my baby list i will leave it in the description box down below just so you can screen print it i find it a lot easier to have like a screen print of a list on my phone and also as well over on my instagram i have a pregnancy highlight and a baby bits highlight with loads of bits and bobs in that i've bought throughout my pregnancy and um i'll make a list on there as well like a really nice a nice clear one with little tick boxes and i'll save that to my pregnancy highlight so before we jump into the newborn haul, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Karma. If you guys haven't heard of Karma before, they are an all-in-one shopping assistant which will help you save time and money. I use Karma every single time I shop online. So as it's Easter weekend, happy Easter guys, I love Easter. It comes with such like a, I always say, I say this about every single season. <laughs> it comes with just a really nice cozy feel, I just absolutely love it. But Karma very kindly sent me an Easter gift which I thought would be fun to open with you guys. You actually have the chance to win your very own box. Um, all you need to do is head over to Karma's Instagram, which I'll pop on screen, give them a follow, and you'll find all of the instructions over there. How cool is this packaging as well? Can't wait to see what's inside. This is also made from environmentally friendly materials as well, which is amazing. How cute. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love them. Ooh, oh my goodness, we have a Chanel lipstick, how gorgeous, in this gorgeous red colour. Then you also as well get this little mini smoothing cream, cannot wait to try those. And then something from Ray-Ban, let's have a look, how cool, there are sunglasses that fold in half, oh my goodness. Also got some Ray-Ban sunglasses. What an amazing little Easter treat. So those are the bits you get in just two of the eggs from Karma. There are four in total, but I'll save the other two for a little surprise for you guys. Like I said, all you need to do is pop over to Karma's Instagram, give them a follow and all of the instructions um, on how you can win your very own little eggs filled with goodies is on the Instagram. So just a quick little demo of Karma and how it can save you time and money. Once you've downloaded Karma, one of my favorite features is the coupon code scanner. This will automatically find the best coupon code for you at checkout. You can also plan and organize your shopping by saving items from thousands of stores into your very own personalized lists. And then Karma will notify you if your saved items have gone into a sale or are back in stock. You can also as well earn cash back on purchases through PayPal, which is amazing. So you can earn money whilst you shop. So my loves, there will be a direct link to Karma down below. Like I said, it's absolutely free. You can download it onto your phone and you can also download it as a Google Chrome extension. I like to have both just because I do online shopping, obviously on my phone and desktops. Okay, my loves, my newborn essential list is actually broken up into categories because I found that 
a lot less overwhelming obviously i made this list months and months ago and then over the past few months i've focused on a different category and it's been what's that quote it's like focus on a stair at a time instead of the whole staircase i like that one and it was just easier to focus on a category do my research on obviously things in that category and then buy the one that i feel like um is the best to buy so that's what i've done so yeah i found this a lot easier so starting with the sleep category um the first thing i bought is a bedside crib we haven't actually got this one out of its box yet because in my next video i am going to be packing my hospital bag and also um doing lots of baby prep and nesting and organizing and we're going to build the bedside crop crot we're going to build the bedside cot in that video so um uh, as you guys as you guys know i've been working with mamas and papas over the past few months which has been amazing and the bedside crib is actually from mamas and papas and it's one they recommended um so it's one of their best sellers and it looks really amazing but i'll show you guys that properly in my next video i'll pop a picture of it on screen but yeah that one looks really good and then i also as well got some i got two fitted sheets probably going to get another pack of these feel like they're going to need to change quite often so i might get another two of these and have four but on most of the baby lists i'd seen it just said get two so we'll see how we go on with two can always get some more i think this is something that um i kind of was a bit i need to get everything on my baby list and then i i kind of forgot that like amazon prime exists and we can always pop to the shop if we need something so um there is no reason to feel overwhelmed because whatever you need when baby is here you can get like it's not the end of the world um it's the pregnancy hormones it's the pregnancy hormones that take over my soul and make me feel overwhelmed okay something i bought recently that i kind of ummed and heard about for quite a while because wasn't sure if i'd really need it but then the more videos i watched the more people said that it was brilliant so i thought i'll just get one um so i got the docker topped sleep doc so yeah, this has been highly recommended. It's for zero to eight months. And this is obviously not to go in their crib with them. This is for, say if I'm in the kitchen and baby's having a nap, I can pop baby in here, know that he's secure, know that he's safe. Um, same if I'm kind of like downstairs on the sofa. And I feel like it's gonna be a really practical, almost like a little mini bed, little mini bed to have with me. Um, it's easy to pop in the car as well so if I'm going to like my mum's or whatever I can take it there and I just feel like this is going to be really practical for me as I'm around the house instead of if he's having a sleep in his cot obviously having to stay in the bedroom with him I can kind of just move this to wherever I am in the house and then have him with me um, you can get loads of different ones of these I just thought white was the most just like plain and simple you can also take the cover off and obviously wash it as well so that's super convenient I might get another cover for this as well because I should think there's going to be a lot of explosions okay for my baby monitor I picked up the angel care baby monitor again mamas and papas recommended this one and I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna have this if I'm gonna save this for when baby's in the big cot after like six months or I'm gonna have this in the bedside cot I probably will put it in there actually um but this one looked really great as you can see you've got the monitor you've got the little screen and this actually goes underneath the baby's mattress and an alarm will sound after 20 seconds if no movement is detected if you're thinking about it I probably won't need this until he is sleeping in his cot by himself because when he's first here i can't imagine taking my eyes off him for one moment i'm probably gonna like sleep with one eye open <laughs> just watching him so yeah let me know when you put your baby monitor up whether you put it on your bedside cot or you waited until baby was in the big cot also as well with our big furniture like our beautiful cot and our changing unit and our wardrobes I spoke about them in a lot of detail in my nursery tour video so I will link that down below just in case you are interested okay next I picked up a swaddle and I also as well have quite a few sleeping bags with like different togs baby's gonna be here in May so it's probably gonna be starting to get quite warm then I mean who knows we live in England there was snow last week and it's April so 
who knows but i got a few different choices because i don't know what he's gonna like um from watching lots of newborn hauls i know a lot of babies don't really like to be swaddled some babies love it so i just got one of these for now to see what he likes um and then if he does if he loves a swaddle i'll get a few more so yeah i just got this from amazon and then sleeping bags oh these are just so cute aren't they I found supermarkets were the best places for sleeping bags. I picked up this one from Sainsbury's, but I feel like Asda, Sainsbury's, um, probably Asda and Sainsbury's have got the nicest baby clothes. They're so cute. Okay, something that was featured in nearly every single newborn haul that I watched was You and the Sheep. Everyone seems to love this guy. I do actually have my Mooney Bear, which is very similar to this. Um, but yeah, this one had great reviews. And also this one you can attach to your baby's cot. So it's kind of like above them. Whereas Mooney the Bear here is, is just like a bear. So he'll probably like that one a little bit more when he's a little bit older. But yeah, this had so many great reviews. Like I said, it kind of like sits just above them in the cot. And you in here is meant to help babies sleep. Um, so it plays white noise sounds. Um, there's quite a few sounds actually. There's a womb sound, a shush sound, rain, harp, and a vacuum cleaner. Wow. Um, and he also has like a little bit of a glow as well. And I remember when my brother had his baby, I remember him being mesmerized by this so i'm excited to see how he gets on with this okay something i didn't actually buy until yesterday this literally came this morning um but i was thinking about when baby is going to be in his bedside crib next to me what light am i going to put on when he wakes up because obviously the closest ones to us we have are our bedside lights but they're quite bright um so i just picked up this little led baby lamp from amazon and this is just like a little mini touch lamp it's dimmable as well and i thought this would be great because this can just sit on my bedside table when i turn it on it's not going to wake me up fully it's not going to wake jamie up it's not going to wake baby up more um and i just thought this would come in really handy and then when he moves from our bedroom to his nursery again i can keep this in here and i just thought it was a lot it's a lot better than like whacking the big light on okay the last kind of sleep item like sleep nap kind of item um also guys if i have missed out anything that's like really obvious and something that i'm really gonna need please just let me know down below you guys have been honestly so helpful with recommendations so if there's anything that you you feel like i'm missing um please just let me know down below but the last kind of like sleep related item i bought was one of these charlie crane rocking chairs i love this so much um and it says this is suitable for newborns and yeah you simply just pop them in here and they can just rock away which i thought was cute and you can also buy the arms as well um so it's a little bit more like entertaining for them you just simply buy a add-on arm and then you can like add your own little what are they called oh, the baby brain is real um you know like the little i want to say charms you guys know what i mean the little the little dangly things that they like just lay and stare at um but yeah i just love this i love the way it looked i thought it was so cute um i also know that i need to get a jumper jumper bouncer but not yet um need recommendations from you guys for one of those but that will probably be in a few months time i didn't want to i didn't want to I say I didn't want to buy loads of stuff. I feel like I bought a lot, but I didn't want to get things that I don't need right now. Says Gemma, who sat in a room with a cot, which she doesn't need for six months. Okay, moving on to the next category, which is baby changing and baby bathing. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys um, what I've got in my changing unit because pretty much everything is in there until baby comes. But the few other little bits that I got, so I bought a nappy caddy. So many of you said this will be really, really helpful, which I'm going to fill with some wipes, some nappies, um, basically just everything I need to change baby's bum. And a little like portable 
um, nappy mat as well because we've got our changing basket but that's obviously probably will stay up here so I got one of these from Etsy it's got little compartments in there and I thought this would be great to probably keep downstairs also I can take I can take this in the bedroom I can take this anywhere so I thought this was just nice and portable just to have um, and then I also as well picked up a I love this this changing bag from Zara I think this is so gorgeous and inside i think i already popped some nappies in this one yeah she's already prepared look got my nappies in there got my wipes in there i am ready to change a nappy so in here you get i think this is a mat yep you get a really cute changing mat and then you also as well get a little bag as well to keep like obviously like your nappy cream and stuff like that in but i just thought this was gorgeous i love it cannot wait to use it so this will be what i take with me when we take baby out anywhere um and i'm just gonna always keep this stocked up so i can just grab it and go okay something else so many of you recommended like this was probably the top recommendation from you guys puppy pads so i just got this pack um for when i change baby because i'm ready for the fountain of wee um so yeah i picked up some of these i'm probably i don't know whether it's better to get these or just get a few it's probably going to be better actually to just get a few wipeable changing mats um just teddy climbing climbing around um yeah it's probably going to be better to just get some wipeable changing mats especially like for waste anyway but i just picked up some of these just to have in the house um, because a lot of you guys told me to get puppy pads so I got the puppy pads and I also picked up as well a little first aid kit I got this one from Amazon again didn't really know which one to get so if you guys have any like really good recommendations let me know but I feel like a first aid kit is kind of like first just a first aid kit okay I've just realized this is a baby grooming set not a first aid kit right let me let me just untick first aid kit from my list because i need to get one of those so yeah any of your guys recommendations are very very welcome we've got a little thermometer in here we've got a little brush we've got some little nail files some files some little scissors this will probably be great to have as backup actually in case anything gets lost something else you guys said i need 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 is a snot sucker now when i was looking on amazon the best seller was the one where you have a bit in your mouth and then a bit up at baby's nose and you suck guys i can't i can't because i would just have this fear that the little stopper wouldn't work and i'd just get a mouthful of snot and i it it just makes it makes me feel very anxious <laughs> so i got one of these ones instead which i'm guessing you just I was gonna do that then. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a live demo. I'm um, guessing you just put it up baby's nostril and suck. So yeah, I got my snot sucker. Don't worry about me. Baby's not gonna have a snotty nose. Okay, just wanted to show you guys a few bits that I have on baby's changing table because, like I said, this is where I've been keeping majority of the changing bits until I obviously pop them into the caddy and stuff like that. So we've got this gorgeous changing basket um, and I think this is why you guys recommended the puppy pads because obviously these aren't wipeable. Um, so we'll see how we get on. We'll trial the puppy pads but I just thought this was really cute. I love how it fits in this unit as well. Again can be moved around the house so I can have this downstairs. Then we also have some nappies in here i went for these nappies but a lot of you guys have recommended the aldi own nappies apparently they're really good so i'll try those ones out i just picked these ones up just so i have some in the house um but again it's going to be trial and error to kind of like see which ones are the best ones then what else do we have we've got a little baby brush here then i've also got some dummies in my stackable jars I've got a little nail file and some scissors in this one and then also some cotton wool pads in here. Then for baby bath bits I decided to, oh my god actually first, look at this, 
Isn't that so cute? I can't wait to give him his first little bath and pop his dressing gown on. Oh my goodness, so cute. Um, but yeah, for bath bits, I decided to go for Burt's Bees. Again, these had great reviews. Lots of you guys recommended. Um, lots of my friends and family recommended. So I just got a few different bits. I got some lotion. I got some... This is nappy cream. Then I also got some bubble bath, some baby oil, and then this one here is a multi-purpose healing ointment. And we also have some water wipes in this one, and then another little bathing essential are these hooded towels, which I've got lots of. And these are just from a selection of places. This one was Sainsbury's, um, Asda, so cute i love dumbo and then i also got so got this pack of five which was from mother care at boots okay for baby baths i actually have two so i started off with this angel care soft touch baby bath support but then i put this in our bath and our bath is like very very deep and i like put it in there and like practice leaning over pretending baby was there and it was just so hard like i would have to be in the bath to be able to fully feel like just just feel like I was close enough to baby and like in a position in case like he slipped or anything like this will be great for if I'm in the bath at the same time but the reality of it is I'm not going to be having a bath every time baby has a bath and that would just be like crazily unpractical for me so I've got this one for when I'm having a bath if I want to have a bath with baby this will be great because he'll be nice and supported in here but unfortunately we don't have a sink that will fit this in like we don't have a big basin um and yeah our bath is just way too deep to kind of like reach over the sides so I picked up one of these and this is a digital bath this looks really good so obviously you can have this anywhere in the house which is great if I want to give him a bath downstairs I can if I want to give him a bath at my mum's I can like I just feel like this is going to be a lot more practical for me so this you can actually use up to 24 months so from newborn to 24 months and this is actually a digital scale to measure baby's weight you can do it with or without water which I just thought would be nice to know um, and it also tells you the temperature of the water so you don't need a thermometer either I have, I have got a thermometer just in case baby's in the bath with me but yeah I just thought this was like a lot of things in one that I thought would be really useful so you know you can use it as a scale you can use it as a thermometer and a baby bath so yeah a lot of people on newborn videos were saying that these are very heavy but I mean like maybe with water in it but I should think I'll put it somewhere first and then just fill it with water so yeah I think I'm going to use this a lot obviously after baby is here and I've tested out everything that I bought I'll let you guys know I'll probably do another one of these videos and let you guys know what was what was worth it and what was what wasn't because obviously when you've bought all of this stuff it does add up um and yeah I'll keep you guys updated in like vlogs and stuff when baby's here but I think this is gonna be so handy okay next category is feeding this is probably the category I found definitely the hardest because I feel like there's just so there's so much to think about first of all you need to decide if you're breastfeeding if you're bottle feeding if you're feeding with formula um I plan to hopefully breastfeed we'll see how things go um but I also want to get baby used to bottles from when he's first born as well so um I'll obviously pump the breast milk <laughs> don't know what that quite was um and then pop it in the bottles just so he gets used to both so I don't have to transition from the nipple to the bottle so first thing I picked up is a big Tommy Tippy breastfeeding essentials kit. So inside of this kit you get an electric breast pump, an electric bottle and food warmer, breast pads, baby bottles, milk storage bags and sterilizer bags as well and also I think yeah you get two milk feeding bibs as well so there is a lot in here but yeah gonna give this kit a try i will let you guys know what i think of it obviously after i've used it um but like i said i just thought this would be a really great place to start instead of buying all of those things individually 
I also as well got a pack of three of these bottles from Amazon. These were like top rated on Amazon for bottles to buy for your baby. Um, this bit is actually, the top bit is actually meant to be like a nipple. So apparently they're not meant to be able to like really feel the difference. Um, but I thought I'd give these a go. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'll pump the milk pop it in the bottles and hopefully be able to get baby used to bottles as well. Then I also got as well um, breast milk formula. Not planning on using this but wanted to have some in the house just in case. Then I also have some Tommy Tippy breast pads which as you can see I'm very familiar with. Very familiar with the um, leaking. But these are actually really good so they have a side got one got one handy here you just peel these off then you stick this to your bra so it stays in place um and then obviously you know you do what you do on this side but i found these a lifesaver um so i'm gonna get some more of these i've also got some non-disposable ones as well i've got some somewhere but i couldn't find i think they're in um our wardrobe which which just needs a sort out it's like a breast pad but it catches just all of the excess milk so i thought that one would be good when i'm actually breastfeeding so i don't waste any and then i can then i can harvest it i hate that word being used with breast milk like harvest my breast milk i don't know why it just makes me feel a bit like ooh. but yeah at least then nothing will go to waste nipple cream i've been using this for months um on my lips because they've been so dry i've literally raved about this stuff this is the only thing that stops my lips being so dry and also been using this on the on my lips oh because they're very sore at the moment but yeah i got this one from burt's bees and i'm loving it so far and then last but definitely not least for feeding we have a nursing pillow this is one of my favorite things ever this is my pregnancy pillow. I bought this a while back when I became super uncomfortable um, or actually when I thought I was uncomfortable and then I reached this point in pregnancy and I was like Gemma you are like 22 weeks you are not uncomfortable um, but yeah this is brilliant. This is my pregnancy pillow. I have spoken about this so much it's amazing if you are currently pregnant and you're struggling to get comfortable Oh my goodness you need one of these um this one is quite pricey and i did wonder why it was like more expensive than all the others and it's because it's beanie it's like oh it's so nice so i had one i had a different pregnancy pillow before this one and it was very um sturdy so it kind of just felt a little bit when, when i had it with me in bed it was a little bit claustrophobic whereas this one it's just oh, it's just so lovely so i thought i could use this one as a nursing pillow as well because you can kind of like obviously not like this but you can put it around your waist i was thinking like this and then have baby here on the breast okay moving on to the next category which is travel so i have spoken about in depth our push chair in a previous video so i'll link that one below as well where i did like a full review of it showed you all of the attachments that you get with it um and everything like that. So we have our push chair already. It's literally in the corner of the room. I'll pop a little clip of it um, on screen, but I'm really happy with that, really excited to use it. Then we also as well, I've ordered a car seat. It's not here yet, so I can't physically show you the car seat that I've ordered, but I will again pop a picture on screen. And I've bought the adapter for that and also a mirror for the back seat. So, you know, you can see baby when you're driving in your rear view mirror, you can look into their mirror and see them. So I got one of those as well. Then I also picked up a baby carrier. I'm so excited to use this. I feel like ever since I found out I was pregnant, I've been really excited to have baby like on my chest. I just think it was so cute. So I picked up this one. This was from Amazon and I didn't know it was going to be pink I thought it was going to be more of like a nudie colour but I mean it's fine so this is just one of the ones that obviously go on your front like this with your straps and you can have your baby here and I thought this would be fab for if I'm just popping into somewhere and don't want to have to get the push chair out even though the push chair is like incredibly easy just to whack out the car i just thought this would be very practical again for around the house if i go to my mum's for the day this will be great to take um in case we like pop out or anything so i just thought one of these would be incredibly handy to have i also got one of these ones which is one of the ones you wrap yourself 
um, and I just thought this one would be really nice for at home. Okay, the last category, which is baby clothing. Now, I've gone way overboard with baby clothing. I just got so excited and everything was so cute. And I feel like when you're a first time mum, the practicality of it just goes out the window and you're like, I just want all the cute clothes. So yeah, I've bought quite a lot of clothes, but on my list, um, I do have like the essentials for a newborn, which these are the bits that I'll like pop in my hospital bag. These are the bits that baby's gonna first be in. So first thing I have on my list is scratch mitts, socks, hats, and bibs, which I have quite a few of each. They are in the dresser, which I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys those now actually. So I've got loads of different little socks. Oh, these are so tiny. Then I also got some scratch mittens as well, just some, some on their own. Like I said, I have got some bodysuits that have these attached, but I thought I'd just, just grab some extra ones as well for obviously like when baby is sleeping and stuff like that. Um, and then I also got some hats. He's got lots of different hats in here. Little Peter Rabbit one, little sun hat look. So I'll be putting some of those in my hospital bag. And then again, we just got loads of muslin cloths here. Then I also got a pack of bodysuits. I just got this neutral pack here. Just thought it was nice and easy in summary. Um, these are from Georgia Asda. George have so many beautiful baby clothes that are just so affordable. Um, so yeah, I got some long sleeve ones of these. I also got some short sleeves and some vests because it's gonna be warm when baby's here. Then I also picked up as well, a five pack of sleep suits which are the same as the body suits just thought these are a lovely little like essential to have um and these actually have scratch mitts built in so as well got these different patterned ones with little elephants on which are so cute all from george so my loves that is everything i have bought for baby boy so far think I've mentioned everything but like I said I will pop the full lists down below and also on my Instagram so um yeah I'll also put links for absolutely everything down below um and yeah I really hope you enjoyed it I hope it helped maybe um if you are struggling with what to buy like I said it was it was quite overwhelming for me really um and watching these kind of videos really did help so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget i will leave a link down below for karma um and you can win your very own easter box by heading over to their instagram and yeah thank you guys so much for watching my next video will be packing my hospital bag which is so exciting things are feeling very real now and also doing last minute baby preps we've got a few little bits to do in the nursery um building his bedside cot so we can get all of that ready and see what that looks like and yeah it's going to be a really a really nice vlog so i will catch up with you guys then and love you all so much bye bye